Hello everyone, this is Vamshi Krishna. So in this video, we are going to see some of the basic questions. So the first question is the spleen location of options are 6th, 7th and 8th ribs. Option B, 7th, 8th and 9th ribs. Option C, 8th and 10th ribs. Option D, 9th, 10th and 11th ribs. So the location of the spleen is at the option D. Option D is the right answer. So if you see the spleen structure here, the location. So this spleen is just behind, lies the behind the 9th, 10th and 11th ribs. Okay. So this is the location of the spleen. And the next one is blood cells are formed in. So the blood cells are developed from the options are liver, pancreas, red bone marrow, kidney. The right one is option C, kidney. I mean, sorry, red bone marrow. So the RBC production is mainly taking place in the red bone marrow. The next one is antibody mediated immunity is effective against options are bacteria, virus, toxins, all of the above. So the right one is all of the above. So the antibody mediated immunity is working on against the bacteria, viruses and toxins. The last product in the process of blood coagulation. Options are thromboplastin, prothrombin, fibrinogen, thrombin. The right one is fibrinogen. So fibrinogen is the end product of blood coagulation process the next one is a person with one of the following blood group is considered as universal recipient so among the four blood groups which one is called universal recipient options are a negative a b positive o negative b positive the right one is a b positive option b is the right answer why because ab blood group consists of no antibodies okay so in the picture you can see antibodies doesn't present in the group of ab and in the case of o the antigens are do doesn't present okay so the in the o group there is no antigens in the ab there is no antibodies that's why the o, o group is called as a universal donor ab it's called as a universal recipient the next one is cbp blood examination for collected in options are edta vial plain vial citrate vial chloride vial the right one is EDTA vial. This is lavender color. Okay. So see for the blood examination of CBP, we have to collect in the EDTA vial. Otherwise, it is known as Vactaneers. The next one is the nurse is caring for a client who had a splenectomy in the immediate post-operative period for which complication the nurse should specifically assess in this client so the patient has undergone the splenectomy he went to the post-operative period as a nurse she should look at for first options are infection peritonitis intestinal obstruction abdominal distension the right one is abdominal distension of course when the person is undergone the splenectomy Due to the depressed immune system, so it can cause for the infection. Before that, we need to check for the abdominal distension. The right one is option D. The next one is the cells involved in inflammatory reactions are called. Options are neutrophils, lymphocytes, basophils, all of the above. The right one is basophils. So the basophils are the cells are 
working on inflammatory reactions. The best site for bone marrow biopsy. Biopsy is nothing but aspiration. Okay. So, in the case of adult. So, which is the best site for bone marrow biopsy? Options are posterior iliac crest, anterior iliac crest, lumbar spinous process, all of the above. The right one is posterior iliac crest. So, when you see the pelvic bone. Okay. So, this is the posterior iliac crust. To take the bone marrow, we have to, <coughs> in the case of adult, we have to collect from here. This is the posterior iliac crest. The next one is the symptoms of congenital aplastic anemia except to one. Options are purpura, petaki, neutropenia, thalassemia. The right one is thalassemia so the thalassemia is doesn't present in the case of congenital aplastic anemia so the person will have the purpura petaka and neutropenia so the purpura is nothing but uh, some a kind of marks which are present in the skin okay and the petaka is nothing but it is a leakage leakaging of a, uh, blood from the minute blood vessels that is called petake. The next one is the purpose of anti-embolism stockings. Stockings are nothing but it is a kind of cloth which cover the lower limbs. It is like a socks. Okay. Options are to promote warmth in the legs, decrease the arterial circulation in legs, prevent deep vein thrombosis prevent foot drop the right one is option c to prevent deep vein thrombosis why because these tokens are compressing on the blood vessels to remove uh, to stop the stagnation of blood in the lower limb so it will prevent the deep vein thrombosis thrombosis is nothing but blood clot The next one is important observation for a patient with anticoagulant therapy. So when you are giving an anticoagulant therapy for the patient, so which one is the most important observation? Options are headache, chest pain, epistaxis, hypertension. The right one is epistaxis. Epistaxis is nothing but bleeding from the nose. So when the person is taking anticoagulant therapy, what will happen? The blood will not clot immediately. Why? Because the patient may risk for the epistaxis. So, we need to check for the bleeding from the nose. The next one is, in which of the following condition is blood transfusion is contraindicated? Contraindicated is nothing but we cannot do the i mean we cannot work on that this is wrong okay contraindicate indicated is nothing but right contraindicated nothing but wrong so the options are bleeding hemorrhoids hemorrhage congestive cardiac failure failure hemophilia the right one is option c congestive cardiac failure why because congestive cardiac failure it is when you give when you are already the patient is having the uh, failure uh, failure of function of the cardiac system other along with that if you transfer the blood transfusion if you are giving that blood transfusion for that patient so it will give the overload on the cardiac system so it is contraindicated in the case of congestive heart cardiac failure the next one is total number of clotting factors so, how many number of clotting factors are present? Options are 12, 13, 14, 15. The right one is 13. So, 13 are the clotting factors. So, here we have the some uh, clotting factors names. So, the first one is the fibrinogen, prothrombin, thromboplastin, calcium, Labial factor, stable factor, anti-hemophilic factor, 
Christmas factor, Stewart power factor, plasma thromboplastin, and a Hegman factor and a fibrin stabilizing factor. So these are the total 13 number of clotting factors. The next one is which of the following is not a clotting factor? Options are fibrinogen, prothrombin, calcium, sodium. So which one is not included in the clotting factor? That is sodium. Why? Because in the clotting factors we already seen there is no sodium in the clotting factor. So it is wrong. It is not present in the clotting factors. But calcium, prothrombin, fibrinogen will be present. The next one is what is the nursing intervention for a patient with the low platelets? Options are check for the platelet count, isolate the patient, use a soft toothbrush, signs of infection. The right one is option C. So we need to advise the patient when the patient is having low platelets. Why? Because uh, we, you, you need to advise for the patient that is soft toothbrush okay so if you <clears throat> if they are using the hard toothbrush it can cause germs bleeding okay gums bleeding next one is a client has been admitted with the diagnosis of acute lymphoblastic leukemia and receiving chemotherapy which of the following should be monitored to assess the patient for which development of life-threatening thrombocytopenia so you have to understand the question okay read it properly and we need to underline the main concepts okay main to um, main words we have to uh, underline so here we have the client admitted with the diagnosis of acute lymphoblastic and leukemia and receiving chemotherapy following should monitor assist for the patient development of life-threatening life-threatening thrombocytopenia it is nothing but when the patient is having the lymphoblastic anemia so he is receiving the chemotherapy so for a life-threatening in the future which can cause the life-threatening for the patient so options are diarrhea intermittent fever headache and hematuria the right one is hematuria so why because in the case of lymphoblastic leukemia the person may risk for the hematuria that is nothing but blood in the urine so we need to check for the hematuria to prevent the life-threatening thrombocytopenia the next one is the normal weight of kidney 150 grams 200 grams 190 100 grams the right one is option A, 150 gram. The normal weight of the kidney is a 150 grams. The next one is nephrons are present in central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, liver and kidney. The right one is kidney. The nephrons are the cells which are present in the kidney. Neurons are the cells which are present in the central nervous system. Okay. The next one is hydronephrosis is nothing but dilation of renal pelvis, constriction of renal pelvis, narrowing of renal pelvis, atrophy of renal pelvis. The right one is option A, dilation of the renal pelvis. So when there is an obstruction in the kidney, okay, kidney ureter, for example, the stone is present here. So when the urine formed in the kidney pelvis, okay, so these are the pyramids so when there is obstruction here the urine will uh, give the pressure in the re, uh, kidney so it it leads to the hydronephrosis nothing but dilation of the renal pelvis the next one is what is the length of ureter <coughs> 8 to 12 centimeters 25 to 30 centimeters, 40 to 50 centimeters, 10 to 20 centimeters. So the right one is option B, 25 to 
30 centimeters the length of the ureter so this is a ureter so here we can see a small obstruction that is nothing but ureter calculi calculi is nothing but stone okay so when there is stone present in here so obstruction of the urine and it leads to the hydronephrosis The next one is the hormone secreted by the kidney to regulate the blood pressure. Options are angiotensinogen, erythropoietin, renin, aldosterone. The right one is renin. Renin is secreted by the kidney to, to control the blood pressure. The last one is the normal GFR rate. 60 ml per minute. 80 ml per minute, 120 ml per minute, 180 ml per minute. The right one is option C. 120, 120 ml per minute is the right answer. This is normal glomerular filtration rate. Okay. It is occurring in the kidney. Kidney that is nephron. So thank you guys for watching my video. Please subscribe and share with your friends to watch my video.